Hello students, in this video we will learn about quadratic formula. First we will derive quadratic formula. Okay, we know quadratic formula is minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay, this is the quadratic formula. If the equation is this, right, this is the standard form of quadratic equation and the values are of the values of x are given using this formula we can find the values of x using this formula this is called as quadratic formula okay we'll derive this see we have ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 what we do here is we apply completing square method okay in the last video we have studied what completing square method is okay if you have if you did not watch the video I recommend you please go watch that video first okay so this is the standard form now we should make the coefficient of x square as 1 okay in completing square we have studied that so how can we make the coefficient of x square as 1 we have a here if we divide this by a this will become coefficient of x square will become 1 all right okay so I need to divide both sides by a so this will become x square a a will get cancelled plus b by a x plus c by a is equal to 0 by a is equal to 0 now I should send the constant term on the other side that's what we did in completing square right so we have x square plus b by a x is equal to minus c by a okay now what should we do we should take the coefficient of x coefficient of x is p by a we should take the coefficient of x multiply that with 1 by 2 it will give us b by 2a b into 1 b a into 2 is 2a we should add b by 2a whole square both sides okay that's why i highly recommend you go watch my previous video of completing square method okay so b by 2a whole square should be added on both sides like this x square plus b by a x is equal to c minus c by a this was our equation what are we doing we are adding b by 2a whole square both sides b by 2a whole square both sides okay let me rub this part hmm. all right now we should make this as a square okay it is like a square plus 2ab plus b square so we learned a trick in the previous video whatever terms are having squares those terms should be written here see x is having a square so i wrote square b by 2a is having a square so i wrote b by 2a here what sign this this sign plus sign will come here now if you expand that you will get this part only one two three terms see x plus b by 2a whole square i am using a plus b whole square formula that is a square plus 2ab plus b square to expand this so i will have x square plus 2 into x into b by 2a plus b by 2a whole square so this two will get cancelled what do we have finally x square plus b by a this b by a multiplied by x plus b by 2a whole square right so in place of this we are writing x plus b by 2a whole square so in place of this we are writing x plus b by 2a whole square okay we need to simplify the rhs minus c by a plus this is b square because square is for b square is for 2 square is for a also so this will become 4a square okay now i'll rub this part again and let us simplify further okay so see here this is x plus b by 2a whole square is equal to denominators are different when denominators are different multiply the numerators sorry multiply the denominators a into 4a square and cross multiply this okay so it will become 4a square multiplied by c we have a minus sign plus this one is 
b square multiplied by a okay i hope you understood this step now the next one is x plus b by 2a whole square is equal to in the denominator we have a multiplied by 4a square in the numerator we can take a common see a is here a is here also a square is there from this a square if we take one a common see we can take a common so what is remaining minus 4 ac will be remaining minus 4 ac plus if you take out a b square will be remaining here so this a this a will get cancelled i am writing b square first minus 4 ac divided by 4 a square okay i hope you understood this and this square goes on the other side this square goes on the other side becomes root plus minus root don't forget to write plus minus okay now root is for the numerator so we wrote root b square minus 4ac root is for the denominator also what is the square root of 4a square square root of 4 is 2 square root of a square is a so here we have x plus b by 2a so x is equal to this b by 2a goes on the other side becomes minus b by 2a plus minus under root of this b square minus 4ac divided by 2a denominators are same so i will write it one time and the numerator will be minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac so this is the value of x what is this plus minus c we should write minus b plus root b square minus 4ac by 2a minus b next time we should write minus so minus b minus root b square minus 4ac by 2a so this is the quadratic formula i hope you understood the derivation the derivation is actually completing square method the result what we get we call it as quadratic formula using this quadratic formula we can find the values of x okay all right so i'm going to rub this and le let us do few problems So x square plus 2x minus 143 is equal to 0. I have a small paper here. I wrote few questions on this. Let, let us try to solve this. x square plus 2x minus 143 is equal to 0. Okay. So minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay. We can find the values of x. First, we need to compare this with ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. If you compare this, see x square plus 2x minus 143 is equal to 0. What is the value of a? It is 1. What is the value of b? It is 2. What is the value of c? Minus 143. Okay. I hope this is clear. Now, we need to substitute these values inside this formula, in the formula. So, x is equal to minus, minus from the formula, b value is 2 plus minus under root b square minus 4 into a into c sorry c is minus 143 right minus 143 whole divided by 2 into a a is equal to 1 so what do we have here x is equal to minus 2 plus minus under root 2 square is 4 minus into minus is plus 4 ones are 4 and 143 multiplied by 4, 4 3s are 12, 16, 17, 4 1s are 4, 5, right? So this will be 572 whole divided by 2, 2 1s are 2. So minus 2 plus minus root, 572 plus 4 is 576, 576 divided by 2. Now what is the square root of 576? It is 24, 24 24s are will give us 576, okay? 9, 48, 6, 7, 5, 76. So this is 24 minus 2 plus minus 24 divided by 2. So one time we should write plus and the next time we should write minus. So this is 22 by 2 minus 2 plus 24. So we'll get, we'll get 11 here and this is 26 by 2 minus 26 by 2 minus 13. So 11 and minus 13 are the values of x. Okay. I hope you understood this.
so i'm going to rub this and do another problem okay let me pause the video all right second problem is 2x square minus 2 root 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 what is the value of a it is equal to 2 b is equal to minus 2 root 2 c x is x whatever is remaining that is b and c is equal to 1 let us substitute these values in the formula so x is equal to minus from the formula b is minus 2 root 2 so this will be become plus so plus into minus uh, sorry plus and minus this is b square what is b square again minus 2 root 2 minus 4 into a into c whole divided by 2 into a a is 2 so this will become plus so this is 2 root 2 plus minus root c minus 2 root 2 whole square means we should multiply this 2 times right minus into minus is plus 2 2 is 4 root 2 into root 2 is 2 so this is equal to how much 8 okay minus 4 2 is 8 8 1 is 8 divided by 4 so this inside the root part will become 0 right all right so we have 2 root 2 divided by 4 so this will get cancelled we can write it as root 2 divided by 2 or if you want to rationalize this you can rationalize root 2 divided by root 2 this is 2 root 2 into root 2 divided by 2 root 2 you cancel this you will have 1 by root 2 okay so remember x is equal to 1 by root 2 and 1 by root 2 it will have two same values all right two same roots okay i'll pause the video and i'll write the next question i hope you understood this all right we have a question now 3x square minus 6x plus 2 is equal to 0 what is the value of a it is equal to 3 b is minus 6 c is 2 let us substitute these values in the quadratic formula minus b is minus 6 plus minus root b square minus 6 square minus 4 into a into c whole divided by 2 into a it is 3 minus into minus is plus okay plus minus root minus 6 square is 36 minus into minus will become plus 6 into 6 is 36 minus here 4 3 is a 12 12 2 is a 24 24 divided by 6 so this will give us 6 plus minus root 12 by 6 now most of the students will cancel 6 and 6 don't make that mistake it won't get cancelled here okay we need to take something common now see we can write 12 as see we can write root 12 as 2 into 2 into 3 2 into 2 into 3 okay inside the root inside the square root if we have two same terms we can write it as one time we can write it one time outside so this root 12 is in fact equal to 2 root 3 so this is 6 plus minus 2 root 3 divided by 6 now you can take two common from the numerator if you take two common from the numerator here 3 will be left plus minus root 3 divided by 6 so if you are having doubts just multiply 2 3 is a 6 2 into root 3 is 2 root 3 now we can cancel 2 and 6 like this so it is 3 plus minus root 3 divided by 3 so 3 plus root 3 by 3 and 3 minus root 3 by 3 these are the two roots of this equation okay i hope you understood the formula very important formula memorize this formula okay thank you so much for watching the video